What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new signature signings Gelson Martins card to review today. It's a card that just came out as a player as we see and is a card that is simply looking amazing. He's got 97 pace, 90 dribbling, 79 shooting, 77 passing with a 68 physicals as well. And if we are comparing this card to his gold card, we are looking at a plus 4 to pace, a plus 7 to dribbling, a plus 8 to shooting, a plus 7 to passing, a plus 7 to physicals and a plus seven to defending as well i felt like by the way his gold card felt really nice on the ball so the fact that they actually went ahead and gave him a plus seven to dribbling is going to be quite interesting to see now he's still a five for eight player he's got high high work rates five star skill moves and a three star weak foot kind of disappointed they didn't go out their way and gave this guy a four star weak foot but i guess it is what it is now when it comes down to the chem star we have gone for the dead eye chem star we're in a similar situation let's say as your boy junior where his pace is already amazing his dribbling ability looks already amazing but that short passing being 81 isn't so great. So you might as well go ahead and give it a huge increase. So we make sure this guy doesn't screw up the little simple passes while also giving him some outrageous, outrageous shooting stats. I look at the shooting stats, 91 attack and positioning, 90 finishing, 99 shot power with 81 long shots, 80 volleys, and there's 73 penalties as well. Does he have any shooting traits? He does. He has the outside foot shot trait. With that three-star weak foot, that is going to be very nice because there's going to be certain angles that we aren't going to be using that three-star weak foot and we are going to be using the trait. Now, the, obviously, the dribbling ability is looking top tier. The reactions being 80, it doesn't worry me too much, you know. It really doesn't because on his gold card, the reactions was 74. And honestly, the gold card felt really nice on the ball. So, I feel like the dribbling, the, sorry, the dribbling, the reactions being 80, is not that big of a deal, especially with how the other dribbling stats actually look. 99 agility, 97 balance, 85 ball control, 92 dribbling with the 81 composure. I still feel like he's going to feel amazing on the ball, especially with the five-star skill moves. Now, moving on to the physicals. One thing I love to see is obviously the stamina being 98. On his gold card, he did have 88 stamina, so it was already more than enough. So the fact they went away and actually gave him a plus 10, it's nice to see, but it wasn't really needed. But we'll take it. It's fine. The strength being 54, by the way, and the aggression being 66 just shows Gelson is going to be one of those players. You, know, you have to try to avoid those contact contact situations. He's not going to be one of those players that you get into situations where he needs to use his strength because most likely he will be pushed off the ball. Now, the links, Portuguese, League Un, and then you got Monaco. Come on, man. The links are absolutely amazing. You can link this guy with Mbappe, Neymar, Hakimi, Kempembe, and you can also get yourself a cheeky strong link with the new Renato Sanchez card. So, yeah, the links are outrageously good. Now, when it comes down to positions, I am going to be playing this guy in two positions. I am going to be playing this guy in a striker position. And I'm also going to be playing this guy down the line in that Ram position. So in a 4-2-3-1 down the line. And the striker position, I'll be using a 4-4-2 formation, by the way. It's my go-to formation when testing out players in a striker position. Because I like to see them obviously link up with my boy Mbappe, let's say. But let's get into the games and let's see how good this card is going to be. I'm going to give it to Benzema here. Can I play that through ball? I can. Gelson just like that. Ball roll scoop, fake shot. Okay, hold up a second. Hold up a second. Look at the way he's doing the skill moves, by the way. Look how precise they are. I go for the shot and Edison pulls out a very nice save. The agile dribble in there, the skill moves. Oh, I can already tell what kind of player he's actually going to be. Is that him chilling on the edge of the box? It is. Hold up a second. We could actually go for a finesse shot here. And uh, that wasn't the greatest of finesse shots. It was literally straight at the keeper. Go for kid. Run past him. There you go. Just go for that cutback now. RBA straight to his feet. Here with a reverse and then use that pace. Look how fast that is, man. I'm going to just bull roll the keeper. Referee. I was about to say, that's not a penalty. I was going to trust into that three-star weak foot, but then I saw the opportunity to just go for a simple bull roll. And obviously, we took it. Now, let's see if he can just make it go top bins. The penalties being 73 is not what you want to see on a penalty, but it's fine. It's fine. See, if we hit it towards the top bins. That's perfectly aimed. As long as we green time it. Ooh, okay. I'm going to be honest, that's probably the best penalty I have ever taken. Like, look at this. Crossbar down. Did it even bounce? I don't think it even bounced. Come on, Carrasco. Can you be in for pace? Actually, I'm just going to go for the early cut in. There you go, Gelson. Good use of pace. Oh, my God. Can I turn? I'm going to be... That was a shot cancel. That literally was a shot cancel. I don't even know how I green-timed it. He's literally 180... 
We'll take it, man. We will take it. Gelson's actually giving me an option on the edge of the box here. That's a good run, by the way. Good touch as well. Nice turn. Fake shot that. Here with a roulette. Can I go for the turn there as well? I'm trying to force it, by the way, on that stronger foot. I probably should have tr just trusted into the freestyle weak foot there, but I just wanted to get onto his stronger foot so I can go for like a bullet of a shot, man, which I know with that freestyle weak foot, it's most likely not going to happen. Is he making a run down the line? No, he's not, but he's actually came short there, and I'm just going to see if I can just use his pace to maybe get him behind here. Bull roll scoop through the legs. That's rude. And then I get stopped by the animation. Imagine if we went ahead and scored that opportunity as well. Go. There you go. Now give it to Mbappe. RVA straight to Gelson's feet. Bull rolled that. That's perfect. With a green timer. Look at that for a finish. Fake shot that. That's nice. Can I get the through ball? Yes, I can. Come on, Gelson. Now use your pace. Bull roll scoop it inside. I like I'm going to go towards the inside. Just go towards the outside. I could have passed early there. But I'm going to see if we can just go for a few dribbles. Fake shot. Uh, no, I tried to keep it in. That should have been a penalty, by the way. No shot. That's not a pen. Mbappe, just run. Literally just run into the space. There you go. Give that to him now. Dummy it. Can I use his pace now? This is against Rudiger. And we've done so well. The shot cancel didn't work against Edison. And Edison pulls out that kind of save. No shot, man. I'm kind of surprised, by the way. He dived in it as well. I thought he was just going to come and collect it if he didn't drop to the ground. But... Clearly, Edison is on one today. Get past him. There you go. Mbappe, no. Okay, Mbappe started running away, but we got Gelson here. And he's using heat strength a good amount there. Can I get the ball? No, I tried to ball roll around the keeper. I was not expecting, by the way, those big touches. And do you see how fast he went there? Like, I didn't expect him, one, to take the big touch. And it, I didn't expect him to be that fast towards the ball either. Is he on the edge of the box again? He is on the edge of the box. But this time... It's on like a left-footed finesse shot. I try to give it a go and look how bad it actually is. Even a green time shot can't even help that. Come on, use that pace. Keep it going. I see you, Benzema, by the way. I'm just going to give it to him here. Mines with some decent movement. I'm going to go all the way down. I'm going to hit it across. And I have so much confidence, by the way, in this guy's stronger foot right now. But I do ne definitely need to test out that left foot. I want to see if... That freestyle weak foot is actually going to be consistent. But that was a good finish with the right foot. Come on, Mbappe. Make that run. Or Gelson. Either way. Just one of you run into that space. I'm going to keep going. Look at the way this guy's holding L2, by the way. The way he was moving it seems so weird. Can we get the finish? Look at that, man. Look at that for a finish. Fake shot that. I'm just going to use his pace. Just keep it going. RB8 across. No, I thought Carrasco was going to continue that run, by the way. And we was going to get like a wide open sweat. But clearly, that was not the case. Scoop turn that. Go for an over top through ball. There you go. He's making a weird rotational run there, by the way. Oh my God, this guy left me wide open. He thought I was 100% going to pass to your boy Mbappe. But I believed in that freestyle weak foot. And we get ourselves a goal. This guy's not just covering me. Running with Mbappe. Is anyone going to give me an option? He actually... Came back on side. Gave me that option. That's nice dribbling. Look at those little precise touches, by the way. Green time with the three-star weak foot. And it flies into the back of the net. Very nice, precise little dribbles there with Martins. Hit it down the line to Benzema. Keep going, Benzema. There you go. Keep it going. Look at his pace, by the way, in that middle. Can he get in front of Marquinhos? He can. I tried to... Oh, wow. Okay. I don't know why I tried it. I'm going to be honest. I literally have no idea. But I felt like it was going to work. And it did. I'm just going to give him the ball here. I actually want to go for the switch of play here. Can he do it? Mm, it's okay. Is it? Yeah, there you go, Benzema, man. The only reason, by the way, I felt like Benzema actually got onto that was... Oh, wow. That Yeah, that's an awful volley. Was simply because of Benzema's pace. He is on a Hunter Chem style and Benzema's pace, as you guys saw by the review yesterday, it ain't a joke. Give that early to him. You see what I mean? Like, he's still playing in that striker position and he drops so deep just to give me a passing option. And I enjoy that about him because what he does is, right, he gives me that passing option while he drops deep, but then it also drags a defender majority of the time out of position and then he realizes that and makes that run in behind. Like, look what he just did there. He moved the fullback out of position and then saw the gap in behind, made the instant run. We'll roll that. There you go. I might just use his pace to get past there. There you go. Shot cancel around him. Referee referee are we about to have two penalties in a single player review i don't actually remember the last time by the way that actually happened it's been a while but let's see what we can do please don't allow the pause to happen please allow me to take the penalty thank you all right let's give him the ball and let's see if we can get another goal with him come on top bins again is it going to be as good as last time i doubt it oh wow oh 
I, this is terribly aimed, I'm going to be honest. And we still score. We'll take that. Fake shot that. Who's going to run into that space? Look on Martin, man, realizing where that space is. This is what I mean. That movement in the striker position is not bad at all. And oh my. We'll take that, man. We'll take that. I don't know how we scored a goal there. Surely he's going to make a run down the line there. There you go. Hit a touch there. Anyone going to give me a passing option? I do see Mbappe towards the back stick. I tried to see if I can go for a skill move. We got ourselves another penalty. This is the thing with Martin's card, right? We all know with the skill moves and the dribbling he has, people are going to be going in on this guy. And the fact that he keeps dropping to the ground, I, I will take it because I want my penalties. I want my quote-unquote guaranteed goals. Watch I say that now and I miss this opportunity. Nah, no shot. No shot. Green tore the top bins. So it is time to review. And we ended up playing six games with Gales and Mines. We actually walked away with double digit goals. We scored 10 goals in six games. And the thing is, right, I feel like I could have even scored more. I feel like I could have done better myself getting him in certain angles, which I didn't believe was going to go in. And obviously it didn't go in. Maybe I could have took like an extra touch to get that guaranteed opportunity. But yeah, 10 goals in six games, we all know is still amazing, amazing to see. Now, do I believe that Dead Eye Kemsel is the way to go? Go. The Dead Eye Chemistal is solid on this card because the thing is, right, you know, you give this guy the ball and you go for a pass, you know he's not going to screw up with 96 short passing. You know that pass is going to get where you aimed it, right? It's just, I understand if you want to go for the Marksman Chemistal. The Marksman Chemistal is also very good on a card because you are boosting up the dribbling stats, right? And you are still boosting up the shooting stats a good amount as well. It's just, I feel like the Dead Eye Chemistal is the way to go because of how consistent the passing actually is and how good he's shooting actually was as well. Like, this guy's right-footed shots was amazing. The left-footed shots, I would say the accuracy was there. But the power, not so much. It wasn't as powerful as shooting on that stronger foot. Let's just say it that way. But yeah, the accuracy, I feel like with that freestyle weak foot was actually quite impressive. But yeah, I still feel like the dead eye chem style is the way to go. But if you want to go for the marksman, go ahead and do it. I understand why, because you're looking at the reactions and you think to yourself, right, that definitely needs an upgrade. But I can tell you right now, it doesn't. You saw the way the guy was dribbling. You saw the way this guy was putting off the skill moves. It was really, really good to see. And one thing I must say, the strength. It didn't seem 54. It, it, it felt stronger. He was a player that was actually really fighting for the ball. And he was also a player that could get in front of someone and actually shield them off. So I don't think that 54 strength is actually real. I really don't. I feel like he has more in game. Either way, the price, 170,000 coins. 170k is good. Is an actually good price. Do you know why? Because the ability is amazing that he has. He has the five star skill moves as well. But it's not just that. He's got really good links. Portugal, like... Ronaldo, Bruno Fernandes, there's Renato Sanchez, they get strong link with. There's so many good players you can link them up with. And on top of that, you have Mbappe. You got Neymar, you can get weak links, weak links with. You got players like Fofana as well. The links are amazing. His ability is amazing. So I definitely do say he is worth the 170k he is currently going for. Now, which one would I take? Would I take a Gelson Martins or would I go ahead and take that Neres card? Hmm. The thing is, right? I think I prefer Neres because of his body type. Neres' body type is lean, while Gerson Martin's body type is average. And I can tell Neres' skill moves felt better than mine's one. So yeah, I personally would take Neres over this Gerson Martin's card. But I definitely still believe he is worth the 170k he is going for. Now, where would I put him in the attacker's tier list? He definitely goes into the 80. 100% he does. He's not on the level of like an Mbappe, a name or anything, any one of those players. But he's definitely, definitely an A tier player. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.